Hi, let's talk about more dreams. I hope my dreams come true. You want a meet a monkey on a roof? Pizza pie. We're eating pizza. And pizza. Wings. Pizza and wings at the park. So it's a grand old time. With no utensils. So. With no utensils. Oh, yeah. Right now, yeah. Your hair is so cute. We're at the old LA Zoo, uh, and if, it's it's pretty trippy. I mean, this is like this is like actually the friggin' this is where gorillas used to be. Oh my god, that's that looks terrifying. Taking those wings, huh? Yeah. Oh, ain't nothing like some spicy, some good spicy wings, right huh? I got garlic knots. Knots. Yes, that one. Knots. He's a big boy nuts. Mm. I'm gonna wipe my fingers on the garlic knots. Literally, we were so starving. We didn't even like wait to like talk about food or anything. We were just like, we're doing this. They're so, I don't, I don't eat the skin though. I don't like the skin. Oh, I always prefer the skin to the actual chicken. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, there's a uh, old, I want to say it's Slavic, Yugoslavian. That's what my grandma does is, uh, or used to do before they came to America where food is plentiful. You would save chicken skin <laughs> for like a month and you would make like a chicken skin cookie. And Whoa. you would eat that. What? Yeah. A chicken skin cookie? Did she make that? First? Chicken skin cookies? <laughs> That's so weird, right? So she'd make chicken skin I've cookies out of it. that? Yeah. Guys, well, I mean, I it'd be of a full hands. chicken. Oh. So I'm gonna just go like this. <laughs> Our Savage. delivery guy. Savage. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> How hungry are you right now? So friggin' hungry. This is good. Yeah, this is pretty good pizza. It's classic. Hey guys, we're having a pizza party in an old oh, zoo. Geez, baby. Pizza. Hold on, what's your favorite type of pizza? Garlic knots. Garlic knots. Yeah, those are some good things, you know. I love those things. How about yours, Noah? I like cheese, but we don't have napkins and we got wings, so we're like using plates. <laughs> yeah. How about yeah. You, I love cheese pizza as cheese. well, but I also enjoy a good pineapple and ham. Mm. Oh, hey guys, so we went on Twitter and then we asked you guys to give us some questions. And I think we're about to, we're about to do, we're gonna about to answer those questions. Mm -hmm. uh, who wants to start first? I got a question for everyone. Uh -huh. If you had to open up a pizza place, what would you call it? Uh, I'd call mine Greasy Pie. Actually, me and my friends had a thing we wanted to do in middle school. We would call it Pizza Bizarro. We, had, we wanted to do like flavor blasts, like goldfish, like weird stuff. So every lunchtime we, we would get a pizza at the cafeteria and then we'd try other snacks and put them on to see mm. like, what worked. Yeah, Pizza Bizarro. And you'd be what? Greasy pie? Greasy pie. What about you? Uh, toppings. <laughs> I think that's a place already. Toppers it's a, it's pizza. A, it's toppers a froyo place. Damn. Crap. Oh, man. I gotta toppers. find some, I gotta find some play top. on my name. Toppings works because there's toppers. Yeah, toppings. toppings. Yeah, I'm toppings. It's different. It's different. Yeah, you went to Barro and there's Sabaro. Um, yeah. Or what, it, what if it was called uh, Pizza on Top? Okay. Domino's Hut? <laughs> it's, like, it's like two, you know, two together, like Domino's and Pizza Hut, but like actually good pizza. What about you, Keith? Leakaronis. Leakaronis. <laughs> that sounds like a dive bar if I've ever heard one. Leakaronis. Sounds like sure. when people are like, oh, we can't go to Olive Garden, it's too expensive. They head over to Leakaronis. Yeah. No, Come on through to Leakaronis so where we serve nice, fresh drinks and uh, pepperoni pizzas. What's Olivia's? I, maybe, I don't know, maybe I've opened up a joint pizza with you guys. How about pizza this way? Oh yeah, I like that. No uh, pizza this way. Pizza this way. Yeah. Get it? Oh. oh! Pizza this way. But then I wouldn't just have pizza there. What, would those, what else would you I also really like french fries. <laughs> Alright, what are some questions, Courtney? Yeah. Alright, are you ready for this? Yeah. Uh, what's the first picture in your camera roll? Mine <laughs> is the sunset at San Diego Comic Con two years ago. It's real pretty, I like that one. Mine's a uh, snowy picture of my grandparents' backyard. Aww. Mm -hmm. Mine is a picture of my mom and my little cousin Tiffany. Aww. Mine's a picture of my dog. Yeah, my first one from January of 2011. Look at that. Aww. Yeah, it's my dog before he uh, died. He's still alive. Uh, well, but. <laughs> No, his death. Before he just yeah. got useless, and I don't like him. <laughs> no, that's I, that's I a use nice the picture. Word imminent to describe no, he, his that's case. more. That's more life in that like still picture right there. That dog has more life in before he got all death. terminal. He's so bad. <laughs> like a meme. It says, "Keep calm and Snapchat me." <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, that's kind of weird. I should delete that. And it was December 12, 2014. His first one is a selfie. This is the, like this is all my photos, just this photo. 
Why are you over there, Olivia? Yeah, can you come hang out with us? I know you don't like the smell, but you gotta be over here. Like. What? What's wrong? Will you smell like pee? Uh, I don't know, I think Keith leaked. <laughs> I was just about to say that. I was just about to say, did Keith so leak? good, guys. Uh. <laughs> Hey, so have you good. ever heard that before? Dude? Oh, never. Hey, guess, try having the name Peabody. Oh, dude, that yeah. sucks. Yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> At Space Geek Productions, which Smosh Squad member would survive the zombie apocalypse the longest? It'd be Shane. Yeah, Shane. Oh, Shane, for sure. Why? Because he's strong? <laughs> yeah. No. He's, Actually, he's I feel like I'm very resourceful. No. Yeah, I think I could do it. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So our <laughs> hands up if you think Shane. Nah, man, you're good. I read the comics, so you're safe with me, Carl. All, All right. I'm saying is, I don't believe the girl. I'm a resourceful sure person. Ready. I think. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you've been through a zombie. Yeah. Right there. All right. You can't vote for yourself. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Make the <laughs> Can't vote for yourself. I Let's was gonna vote for off. Keith because I think Keith would be the one who's just fast and like would. Yeah, run. Run. but for how long can you run? Do I don't forever. know. I think Keith could. could I, I, I think. I think. I think. Honestly, we don't, don't think energy. Keith can survive, Keith. but he will. This is also like, an important. He's a survivor. Thing. This. Uh, this is an important fact uh, that we're also overlooking is that it's not just like physical power and stuff, it's how well you work with other people. I think Keith would be a pretty good dispeller of drama, mm -hmm. being with other groups. <laughs> he would just, he, no, Keith would be the one that leaves groups. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's really good at camouflaging and hiding. That's so good. You guys so we're, you guys are saying so Keith? I, I Keith win. wins? So I, I win. think Keith wins. Yeah, he Keith, Keith, Keith wins. Apocalypse. Surviving that zombie apocalypse. Yeah. So I mean, if you guys want to live. But Noah would be a really nice zombie. <laughs> like, like Noah as a zombie would just kind of like be like, he would just kind of come up to you and he'd just be like, mm. I couldn't do much. He'd be like, yo, there's like, more what? zombies coming, so you might want to. You got it in you, Noah. Know, he'd be like, yo, know, he'd be like, yo, yo, well. the thing is this, like, us zombies, like, the, the thing is, like, no, for real, us zombies are overlooked because. <laughs> you guys need to understand the social structure. <laughs> the issue fundamentally with the way us zombies operate. What if we right. kept putting my mouth going after you became a zombie? Oh my <laughs> god. Like, <laughs> You're trying out different hey, flavors. Hey, we're gonna put them in mouth. Uh, people again. Do you think it's better to survive alone in the zombie apocalypse or with people? With people, I think at the end of the day, having a group is always more effective. Yeah, just because at a certain point, it's not about fighting off zombies. It's about actually surviving. It's no different than being on a stranded island or whatever. I have another question, but this one is for Courtney. What, what did Courtney do to release Sorry. her inner cringy hip mom? My inner, oh. inner cringy hip hop, the YouTube mom? Yes. No. Tell Kyler and Brayden to put me in their videos. My username is Tagging Ain't Easy. Oh my god, it took a lot of work, you know? I had to really dip into my ancestors and channel their, their cringy energy. A lot of character coaching from uh, Lee Newton, because she's real good. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Also, I'm just weird, and so it wasn't really that difficult to be weird. This is from at M or nothing. What was the hardest part of Smosh Live? Changes. Changes, yeah. like, changes were hard for me and line memorization in the beginning, but... I think for me, it was nailing down the host character because I was the straight man, I think, in that sketch. So, because there was so much craziness around yeah. me and really figuring out um, how I wanted to go about that character. Yeah. Learning how to spacewalk with the boombox. Yeah. That was, <laughs> that was no, that was so I'll heavy. Because that was towards the end. That's, no, that's so true. The boombox, yeah, I, I've used a pillow during most of the rehearsals, but um, like by the time it was time for us to perform, like I want to say a day or two before, I got the boombox. And this arm, this is it's like. It's strong. It's so strong. It's wow. popping out, guys. Stronger and, than Shane's. But this one's like a week <laughs> because I didn't use it. That's awesome. Smoshlins asks, what decade would you guys want to be stuck in for a whole week? I don't mind. Can I choose the future? The 1960s. Yeah, definitely the future yep. is I want to be in like the 2030s. You feel me? Yeah, I want to yeah. be in something that actually yeah. works for me. Not too far, but like far enough. I would do it late 50s, um, early 60s. So I just love that era, everything about it. Everybody was inventing things, and like there was new things, and there were things, and um, there, were, there were people. Uh, mine's the 80s. I don't feel like I belong there, so at least I like to get visit it for like a week. And my fashion sense would make a little more sense, you know? Probably like, you know, I don't know, 1770s, and uh, I'd probably die. <laughs> real quick. I'd die real quick. Like, <laughs> You'd really show up so and immediately quiet. get cholera. How long did people live? Like, was it like 30s? Uh, 30s was, was yeah. I mean, Benjamin Franklin was in his 80s. 
Pat, really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he was old. He was, he was also really old. Oh, he was very rich. Who? Benjamin Franklin. And, oh, really? And he yeah. was having Back a lot of sex. Day. Sex keeps you alive longer, guys. I think guys. it is. Hugh Hefner is doing great. And I can also, if I go back in that time, the 1950s, 60s, that's when the Beatles were just beginning. Oh, you're going to sleep with a Beatle? Yeah, and or, <laughs> or meet Ernest Hemingway, or meet like Pablo Picasso, or like meet Frida Kahlo. You really Wait, know a lot about Picasso this era. You probably should go there for a Pablo week. Pablo Picasso wow. was, well, he was around. Ernest Hemingway was about dead. Why did I think Pablo Picasso was like ancient? Oh, yeah, and I, I could go back, no, and I could okay. go to Cuba. Yeah, B is like smart. It's like red. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big dick B is here. He's like, I'm just trying to get Don't show fear. Don't show fear. Yeah, I like how half of us are really afraid, and the other half are just not at all. Olivia, you have the worst shirt for a bee attack. Two bees. Three bees. Now the whole beehive is coming. Oh! oh no, the bees. The bees, the bees. The bees. We got chased away by the bees. We had no chance. They were winning that we're battle. Now, we're now hiding away in one of the cages. Yeah. Oh, we're safe. Areas that smell like pee. Yeah, what was that final question, Olivia? Uh, it was from Ashley or Nothing. She asked us, what was the weirdest dream we've ever had? Hmm. Okay, I often will find myself when I'm super tired having dreams of actual real life where like I'll have conversations that are just mundane and it seems like I'm awake. You okay? Are you okay? Are there bees? You can go around oh, the back. there's people. There's people. <laughs> it's a, people. Yeah. People are scary. My word is dream. I get dreams. I get this constant dream of people are chasing me. Like, like, like I always get dreams where people kidnap me and I'm trying to escape. Well, it's very weird. When I was a kid, I had a dream where I, I like was falling and I like full on skydiving and it just went on for like a while and then I like cannonballed into the ground and made a huge crater and then I just like got up. One time I had a dream about like a monkey on a roof. I don't know why. You look up for like I, I look up interpretations I of that. all the time. And if you ever dream about monkeys on a roof, that means that somebody you feel is like talking bad about you. <laughs> Have you had dreams that where you're like losing teeth? Like your teeth are coming? That means you are really insecure about yourself. I've heard that, yeah. It's a common dream people okay. have. Yeah. I had this weird dream recently where, uh, it was actually like a week ago, where I, I would get stolen away while I was sleeping by like a stalker and like would be in his house like at night and then I'd be taken back and then I'd wake up and... in my house and I literally woke up yelling my sister's name. My dream, uh, <laughs> I don't dream anymore <laughs> and so I don't remember. I've not no. had a, like a good dream in so long. Really? I yeah. think, uh, the, like, on, no. Smosh Live was a dream. That was a dream. No, I think one time I was dreaming and my dad was not my dad. It was somebody else, but it was my dad. I've had people <laughs> like tell me that they have past lives and like they've met people in their life that are from I've their past dream. lives. And I'm sorry, like even if that's true, like I don't believe that you can see that. Let's be real. <laughs> like, come on, you're a monkey. Uh, <laughs> You're in a three-dimensional world. Like, maybe that exists, maybe there's ghosts, but your ass ain't seeing them. Okay, <laughs> let's leave on that note. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. Bye. Hey, bye. Hey, hi. Hey, guys, Ask bye. Asking us questions and yeah. watching us eat pizza yeah. and running from bees. Yes. We ran from a lot of bees. Yeah. They kept multiplying. Um, Do you think there's, like, stranded, like, or, like, lonely lions out here that were in <laughs> Lonely the... lions? Lonely, lonely lions. lions. <laughs> there's definitely ghost lions. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen <laughs> ghost lions before. No, your ass ain't seen it. I've seen ghost lions. Oh, your okay. ass ain't there's seen it. Hey, guys, like and subscribe, please. Yeah. yeah. Please, and we'll be doing more of these squad lunches. Okay. And we love answering questions. Sure. Yes. Yay. Hey, all right, love you guys. Bye. 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 We at the zoo. Fun fact, animals are people too. I'm a friggin' python, I'm gonna eat y'all. That's prime butt right there. Hey baby girl, you wanna go explore some bush?